Tensions flared again this morning between Israelis and Palestinians, first a bombing, then a stabbing. In the past month, eight Israelis have been killed in Palestinian attacks, most of them stabbings, and 33 Palestinians have died from Israeli fire. CBS 4's Jonathan Vigliotti has the latest from the region. Israeli soldiers fired tear gas to push back crowds of Palestinian protesters in Bethlehem. Troops are making a show of force in a region on edge after a string of stabbing attacks targeting Jews. You feel that you are living in, in a war. It's not a normal uh, way of living. Israel's military says a Palestinian posing as a news cameraman stabbed a soldier in the West Bank town of Nablus this morning. Forces shot and killed the attacker and say the soldier will recover. Hours earlier, Palestinians threw firebombs at the site some believe is the sacred tomb of Joseph. The Hamas militant group called for a day of rage following Muslim prayers, and Palestinians have taken to the streets of Bethlehem in full force. We won't leave. We won't leave here. Palestine for us, not for him. Israeli police barred men under 40 from praying at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque this morning. Hundreds of worshippers laid prayer mats in the streets instead. The sacred site has been at the heart of recent violence after speculation Israeli officials wanted to limit access to Palestinians. It's a stupid occupation. How could you, how could you touch a sensitive uh, area like this? It means so much to the Muslims and the Arabs. Leaders on both sides say they're trying to calm tensions in the region. But so far, it's not working. Jonathan Bigliotti, CBS News, Bethlehem.